everybody in Facebook land. My name is Riley Saunders. I'm a village idiot. Thank you very much for joining us for, I think it's the second show of 2020. We're super stoked getting this decade going in style. Actually, the third show of 2020 and the ninth show of season four live at the Roslyn. This is a show we dreamed up where you can watch bands play from the comfort of your own home on Facebook Live and YouTube. Tonight, we have an extra special night because it's going to be a singer-songwriter night. We're going to get to know five artists tonight. Uh, we're going to hear a little bit about their songwriting process and uh, hear them play a couple songs each. So thank you very much for joining us. This is an interactive rock show. We're not going to read comments out during the episode. However, the artist is going to check out those comments later. So if you have some really sweet things to say, make sure you let us know in the comments below. But please click like and please click share. It's the biggest compliment you can give us and these artists. We're all here for the same reason. Because we love, we love music, we love Winnipeg, and we know Winnipeg. Manitoba is the heart of the nation and the music capital of Canada. But we also have somebody here from Regina tonight by way of Nashville. So we're going to show you a little bit outside of our city limits as well. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we're going to kick... Or actually, we got to give a shout out to King's Head Pub. They are an extension of your living room. They're the head partner of Live at the Roslyn. We love those guys. They got music every Friday, every Saturday. Make sure to check them out. Right now, we're going to kick it to the theme song. Then we'll be back with the first artist. Thanks, everyone. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining us. We're super stoked to get this started. This is the first, the first of five that are going to be performing tonight. Franny, how's it going? Good, how are you? This is Franny Klein. This so is Riley. <laughs> oh, forgot to say that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, so uh, assume everybody at home doesn't know you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Franny Klein. I am pretty country as far as being Winnipeg. It's a struggle, but I'm here because music and you guys. Um, but uh, I grew up with, on a ranch with some cows and, and uh, along Lake Manitoba, actually. And still go back there and help out with farming and stuff like that. But Winnipeg's where I'm at now. Right on. And uh, you play in a band, typically? Yes. I have a band. We play around Winnipeg. We've been playing outside of Winnipeg. We just... My guitar player, Dan, he messaged me last week and said that we played 56 shows last year. So I was like, holy crap, this is good. Right so, on. Yeah. Well, everybody, make sure you check out Franny Klein on all the social media stuff, Facebook, Instagram, like her, subscribe, uh, stream her on Apple Music. Do you have actually any tunes on Nothing Apple Music, yet. Spotify? Nothing, Nothing yet. yet. No, we so we're getting a bit works. of a sneak peek of some special stuff. Very correct, yeah. Uh, give us a lead into the song you're about to play. Tell us a little bit about the song and then take it away. Well... So uh, this song, actually, I didn't even... There's this guy named Will Prince, um, and uh, he came over one day, and we were sitting there, and, and I can't even take as much credit for this song, I don't even feel like. So, Will, if you're watching, thank you. Uh, but uh, we were sitting at my house one day and just writing, and, 
and talking about we're both from small towns. I'm from a reserve called Ebb Flow First Nation, and he's from Paguas. And so we we kind of rode back home a little bit, and it's a little different. You know, you can you can see a guy coming down the road and know that that's George from up the street, and he shouldn't be on this road and <laughs> stuff like that. So we sat down and we just kind of. Will kind of did a lot of it. I feel like I can't even take as much credit, but but uh, I've been singing it in every show. And it's one of my favorites. We'll take it away. Becky and didn't have a license. We won't tell if you don't. Cops around here loved her smile They pull her over just to let her go Frank Sr. makes the moonshine Long after the days got cold Walks a town with half his bounty His crooked smile in his heart of gold But ain't nobody saying a thing And no, ain't no Cause we are all guilty of the same things Yeah, we are all just doing life in this town Go see John, he'll hook up your cable Fifteen bucks same day Call and George and Jean been engaged for years, but he ain't been the straightest arrow. He had an eye for the preacher's wife, but they left town with three Sundays gold. But ain't nobody saying anything. No, ain't nobody blowing that whistle now. Cause we hear all. Everybody, I'm sitting here right now with Franny Klein. This is a special live at the Roslyn. You can sit back and relax from the comfort of your own home and watch five amazing artists play a couple songs each. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. Please click like and please click share if you want to support Franny Do it. and uh, what we're doing here. Franny, would you quit music if they didn't share? Is Obviously. That... <laughs> so, like, come on. Everybody I'll you over there. Yeah, everybody. Over don't there, be the over there. reason. Don't be the reason Franny quits music. Come on. Just like and share. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. And uh, so this is a singer-songwriter type night. Yes. And I know everybody, everybody has a different way of writing songs. 100%. It's just the way that, you know, sometimes the song comes first or the, the lyrics or the guitar. Mm -hmm. Do you have a typical process that you like to follow or some secrets you want to share with everybody? Um, I definitely don't have any secrets. Um, if I did, I wouldn't be telling you guys. Just kidding. I would because maybe not. Um, I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm one who goes to my phone a lot. I don't know if anybody else does that, but in my, in my phone, I have a notes application or if I'm at home, I, I, I like to be old school and have like my paper and pen. Um, it, it feels better for some reason writing it as opposed to typing it. Um, but uh, I'll be like driving and pull over and be like, oh, I gotta write this. Um, just weird shit comes to me at random times and, and I just put it down. And, and if I'm having like an emotional day or something, I'm like, you know what, I need this. And I'll, and I'll go sit down with the guitar and, and um, make the room really moody. I feel like that's really important to me is, is the atmosphere. Um, um, I feel like I need 
the lighting to be good. I sound like a diva right now. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I just feel like it needs to be comfy, you know? It's, it's got to be quiet. And, and if you're co-writing, and it's... I love co-writing, but and it doesn't. It hasn't always worked out, but I, I love it, and I feel like um, it's been like a a new form of songwriting for me. I feel like I'm a better songwriter now that I've learned from other people. So it's a learning process, I think, for everyone. Right on. Well, tell us the next song that you're about to sing, and tell us a little bit about the song. So the next song is called "Before I've Flown Away." Um, the song's really important because. Um, of mental health. Um, I think everybody kind of used to be scared of mental health and talk about it, and myself included. And it's not a thing, I used to say, and all this and that. And, and um, this was never even supposed to be a song. I'm one of those weirdos that journal every day. And it was just like kind of like a piece out of my diary, let's say. And I just took it out of there. And, um, just going through an emotional time and jotted it out. And, and um, I went to my old house where I grew up. And I took a guitar there. It was a borrowed guitar because I didn't even have mine. I borrowed my cousin's guitar. And I went there and this song just happened. And the house was empty, so the acoustics in the house were amazing. And it was like an A-framed home. So it was just everything sounded so extra cool there. But it's one of my favorite songs, if not my favorite. Right on. We'll take it away.
Thank you, guys. Everybody, give it up one more time for Franny Klein. And now, uh, we're just gonna keep this going. If you're just joining us, this is a special singer-songwriter night live at the Roslyn. We're featuring five amazing artists in their own right. Right away, we're gonna have Kenzie Jane. They're gonna have to do a little change over here. Uh, we're gonna give a quick shout out to McNaught Cadillac Buick GMC. They are a proud sponsor of Live at the Roslyn. We love those guys, and uh, we know that they support our Winnipeg music community. If you ever need a car, make sure, make sure to go check them out. And uh, please click like on this video, and please share. If you wanna support these artists and tell the world about how talented they are because we know they're talented please do your part and uh, that's the biggest compliment that you can give them is to do that so please click like please click share let's spread this to everybody around the world and now we are sitting here with Kenzie Jane how are you doing Kenzie what's up I'm good how are you you're doing pretty good how many times have you played on live at the Roslyn mm. has it been a couple times or just one including time including sunroom session well you did a sunroom session which four. killed it this is number four. Oh. We got a veteran here, Kenzie Jane. <laughs> so for all the people in the world who don't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Cool. Well, Kenzie Jane's my name. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. I sing R&B, soul music. Uh, <laughs> she <whatever>. raps. <laughs> Let's not go there today. <laughs> um, I sing backups in a bunch of cool bands like Roman Clark and Amadians, Ami Chun. And then I have my own solo project. Um, I've been living in the city for like six years and slowly found my way here. Right on. Well, you're going to play a song for us here. Uh, tell us a little bit about the song and then play it for us. Cool, yeah. Um, this song is called Looking Back. It's a very reflective song. It's um, about learning from mistakes and being open-minded and being willing to learn and being mindful of those around you. And uh, yeah, because, you know... <laughs> Memories stick. You might change, but people remember, so. Take it away. Give it up for Kenzie Jane. Thank you. Tethered by memories lingering, 
perspectives changing, bodies aging, patience is waning, memories recurring, perspectives changing, bodies aging, patience is, patience is, patience is, yeah, Everybody, you are watching Kenzie Jane live at the Roslyn. This is a special show we're doing where we have five singer-songwriters playing a couple songs each, and they are all amazing talents. And Kenzie, the first time that I, we ever actually saw you play, I think we saw you at the Goodwill, and then we offered you a spot on Sunroom Sessions, yep. and I gotta say, you absolutely just blew us away. You came out of nowhere and you blew us away. And, uh, and Straight out of nowhere. Of, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it's awesome. And so we are here talking about singing, singing and songwriting, of course. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about your process that you typically have for when you write songs. Oh, man. Well, usually um, it is a, a processing thing for me. So I, I am processing an emotional endeavor or, or something positive. Um, so usually it's it's an, a way to get outside my head, and then I find a way to make it interesting for other people so that they want to listen to it. <laughs> but first and foremost, I, I, I write for myself as kind of a form of journaling. Sometimes it's poetry, sometimes I'm writing to chords, sometimes I'm writing with other people, but um, typically it's me by myself in my room and just processing some stuff. Nice. And yeah. so for the, first, er, uh, for the most part, does the, the, the lyrics come first? You're just um, writing, and then you kind yeah. of apply it to music I later? Honestly, I usually do lyrics and melody at the same time because I like to contour the lyrics with the melody so they kind of like act as alliteration. I don't right know if on. that makes sense to anybody else. Makes sense <laughs> to me. <laughs> no, it makes a lot of sense for sure. Everybody, please click like and please click share to support Kenzie Jane and all the other great artists that we have here. But Kenzie's not done yet. Give it up for one more song by Kenzie. Thank you. And uh, tell us a little bit about the song before oh. leaving in. Well, it's going to be released as a single real soon, so you can give me a follow on the social medias and uh, you'll probably see when it's coming. It's called Could It Be? You don't call on me ever anymore Think of me still, I can't be sure I've been wasting time on my phone Wondering where you have been Creeping, used to call me boo Now I'm wondering who, who You've been with, is there someone new? Dangerous games, played them all with you Just can't let it go, fiending for something new What could it be? Your heart is full of gold And I wish that I could know you more, more, more What could it be? You could be getting everything, everything to me Yeah, could it, could it, could it be? You could be getting everything to me Yeah, yeah Well, when I hear from you Words are very few What more can I do? So confused when 
Everybody, give it up one more time for Kenzie Jane. And this is a singer-songwriter night live at the Roslyn. We're gonna have five different artists come up tonight. And that, that was two of five done. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody. We gotta give a quick shout out to Quest Music. They are a huge supporter of Winnipeg music, but not only Winnipeg music, all the different things going on in our community. If you need to rent musical instruments, buy musical instruments, get lessons, anything like that, make sure to check out Quest Music. They got one place in St. Vital and another place on Portage Avenue. And uh, make sure to support those who support our community. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Everybody. This is the ninth episode of our season of Live at the Roslyn, a show we dreamed up where typically you can watch full bands play from the comfort of your own home on Facebook Live and on YouTube. But tonight we're doing a singer-songwriter special, and uh, we have five amazing artists who definitely one day I'm sure we're going to have full Live at the Roslyn shows with. Typically we do this every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, so uh, make sure you tune in. If you want to check out any other past episode, go to the videos tab on our Facebook page, like the page while you're at it, and subscribe to our YouTube page to check them out there. And now, oh, we got somebody standing up here. I thought I would be like, usually I'm always sitting, so I was like, I'm always like the only one sitting, but now I'm standing, I'm the only one standing. Awesome. That's awkward, eh? I know, right? <laughs> Actually, I'm the, I'm the same height as you, though, sitting, though, so I'm still going to take a seat. <laughs> wow, getting roasted over here. <laughs> anyway, everybody, give it up for Alana Jeffries. <laughs> so, Alana, we have actually a wide range of, uh, of artists and a uh, wide range of ages. Uh, we won't say who the oldest is, but Alana is one of the freshest faces here live at the Roslyn. However, you're quite an experienced musician. You've played over yeah. 75 live shows. Yeah. You're, you get out there and you play some shows. Yes, I do. <laughs> right on. Well, thank you very much for coming here. And you're no uh, well-deserved. We're super stoked to have you. For everybody at home who doesn't know you, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Alana Jeffries, and I was born in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And I've been singing since I was four. And, yeah, I just love music. And it's, I play guitar and piano. And yeah. Right on. And you actually had a new single come out. You can tell us all about that. Yeah, my new single that came out was Better Place. And it was all about doing whatever you can to make, do whatever you can to make the world better and stuff and be less selfish. And right on. Well, make sure, like Alana and all the other artists, make sure to check them out on Spotify, Apple Music, Facebook, like their page, subscribe on YouTube, all that stuff. Let's support these artists. Um, tell us the song you're going to sing and maybe just tell us a little bit about it before you go into it. Sure. Um, this song is called Anxiety, and it's about feeling anxious and being in awkward situations, and yeah, just feeling really awkward. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is Anxiety. Heartbeats quick, now I'm starting to feel sick. I'm talking way too fast and every breath feels like my last I try to be cool, but I don't know what to say I try to stay still, but I want to run away Why's no one tired? Are they all just liars? I can't keep this pace when my heart starts to race now Don't let it get to your head There's nothing that could be said Try not to go crazy, but I always start to worry I try to breathe in, but I don't have no air I'm losing my mind, but I'll come back, I swear Why's no one tired? Are they all just liars? I can't keep this pace when my heart starts to race now Don't let it get to your head There's nothing that could be said So long, goodbye, anxiety 
Watching Alana Jeffries on our singer-songwriter live at the Roslyn special edition. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. For all the people that have liked and shared, thank you so much. And for the ones who haven't yet, come on, please do it. Alana, poor Alana might have to quit music <gasps> if on, you don't like and share this video. <laughs> of course we can, but please, please do it. It's the biggest compliment that you can give and it helps out a lot. And uh, Alana, we're here because of songwriting. Yes. And uh, you're a little bit newer to songwriting being that you're far younger than the other people here. But uh, tell us a little bit about your songwriting process and how it's been developing over time. Usually it starts with an idea um, that I feel passionate about. And normally it starts with lyrics, but sometimes guitar. And yeah, I just, poetry is usually how it starts out. And then I put a melody to it and I collaborate sometimes. And that's really cool. That's a new thing to me. I normally just did it on my own. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. And Right on. And uh, so how, what do you find the biggest difference between collaborating with somebody else when you write and uh, writing on your own? Well, it's like a lot of sharing ideas and stuff. And like, I guess like when I do on my own, I just kind of do it, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I like this. Cool. I'm going to do this. <laughs> kind of helps give you another perspective, I yeah, guess, and yeah, learn exactly. a little bit as you're doing it. That's good. It helps. Make right on. Song, so. Cool. Well, uh, we do have one more song by Alana Jeffries. Alana, tell us what song you're going to sing and tell us a little bit about it. Um, it's called Fake Life, and it's about social media and how everything is deceiving, and if the people are, they pretend to be happy when they're not, and like you just really don't know what's going on in people's lives, and uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, take it away. always smiling she shows it off she wants them to see she's up there flying above the clouds as science can be but you'll never see her fall she likes to hide it all Stop working on your fake life Try to be something that you're not Doing things just to get more likes Think it's time, time to give it up You are hiding your pain But we all do the same Stop working on your fake life Think it's time, time to give it up Think it's time, time to give it up She's out there crying, she's all alone, she wants to be seen. She has been lying, all alone, stuck in a 
Everybody, you've been watching Atlanta Jeffries live at the Roslyn. That's the third artist of five that we're going to feature tonight on our special singer-songwriter edition. Give it up one more time for Atlanta Jeffries. Next, we have Curtis Newton coming up. But first, we got to give a quick shout-out to Torque Brewing. Does everybody in the room like their Torque? Torque is always a very popular addition to Live at the Roslyn. And shout out to them. They're proud supporters of us. They're keeping us all of our thirst quenched throughout the night. And we really appreciate them. And we really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching week in and week out. And if this is your first time, make sure to go check out uh, one of the past 85 episodes that we've done. This is a show where typically we have bands playing, but this is a special singer-songwriter edition. We have five artists playing tonight. Uh, we're going to go into our fourth artist. If you missed any of the previous artists, just go back early into the episode. You can watch it back. You can rewind it, or you can watch it again later, because you don't want to go anywhere right now, because we're here with Curtis Newton. Hey, how you doing? How's it going, my man? Good, man. So, Curtis, Curtis is, uh, like, we just had the youngest person... Um, really? Curtis is like somewhere in the middle or yeah. somebody said you were 50 but I don't think that's true there's a lot of young very talented ladies here tonight and, yeah. and I'm tipping and the scale way the other way <laughs> I'm right, the old guy right on well we're super stoked to have you here so thank uh, you a little insight that, that I have for Curtis Newton. Curtis is the guy that we just see out there that absolutely blows us away <laughs> and we wonder where the heck this guy came from so tell us well, I've been around for like 50 years, right? <laughs> so, uh, tell us a little bit about <laughs> tell us a little bit about your uh, yourself and your music history. I've uh, I've been I'm born and raised in Winnipeg, and uh, I've been writing a lot of songs and uh, playing a lot of shows, and uh, it it made me it, it I ended up here. <laughs> it's brought me here. Right on. And I'm How happy long, to be here. When did you first start playing music? When I was uh, 18 years old. So about uh, 15 years ago. 15, 16, something like that, and around? Like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right on. That's good. <laughs> well, uh, tell us uh, what song you're going to be playing, and tell us a little bit about the song. This song I wrote last week, um, I, don't, I don't even know what it's about yet. It's, it's, I think it's about, most songs are about relationships or love or, or uh, acceptance, kindness. I mean, I write like, sort of like I make nachos. <laughs> With kindness or love? Yeah, it depends. <laughs> Are you super nice to the nachos? I don't know. Sometimes it's five layers. Sometimes it's seven layers. And sometimes I just throw cheese on it and put it in the microwave. Well, throw cheese on it and put it in the microwave, bud. Tell us uh, what song you're singing. Go this, for it. This song doesn't have a name yet. Oh. It's, felt, it's called Fell Out of Love. Okay, thank you. Can I start it? Are, are you going to sit there? What does everybody think? Can he start the song? <laughs> Take it away. Great intro. Great intro. Thanks. I'm Curtis and I'm old.
Someone in the shadow Deep beyond the light Colors fade to darkness Whispers in the night Rose, you walk before me Signs just fade away One look as you're leaving As I turn the other way All I ever wanted Was a chance to walk along Finding special feeling Like an old familiar song One I can turn to Without a second guess Who knows what it was Everybody, thank you very much for joining us. You are watching Curtis Newton live at the Roslyn in our singer-songwriter special of Live at the Roslyn, and I literally just fell in love. I, don't, I, think, I think you have like 15, 20 people in here. I think you were singing right to me. <laughs> Nobody gets Why are you the closest one to me right now? <laughs> I actually did fall in love, though. Thank and you. And that was an absolutely beautiful song. And uh, this is a songwriting, uh, a songwriting episode here. Let us know uh, a little bit about your songwriting process. And, uh, I think I explained it. It's kind of like nachos. <laughs> it really is. I mean, you, you come at it from different angles. Sometimes you come at it from, from a, a, a lyrical uh, hook, a, a melody. I might be humming something in the car. I might be thinking an emotion. I might write it down. It might be poetry. Poetry put to music or, or, or music that I need words to. I mean, it's, 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 uh, and it never ends. It's never really finished. It's like a painting. It's like this room. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, hey. But it's like this room. It's never really finished. It's always a new coat of paint or, or, or a new vibe or a new uh, uh, something you have to add to it. Well, Sid said he was done, though. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to talk to him about that. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's never really one way or one thing or one... It, it, it just feels like it's never really finished. It's right just uh, that's where it is. That's where it sits today. Right so these were where these songs sit today. And well, tell us about the next song you're going to sing and a little bit about uh, when you wrote it and what, what you were feeling. This one is called Day After Day. It's sort of the uh, uh, monotony, I guess, of the day after day life you live, whether it be in work or a relationship. And, uh, 
and the days after day leads to month after month, and then you got a whole calendar year. <laughs> well, take it away. <laughs> Why is this funny? It's my life, people. Watching Riley Saunders live. Oh, I mean, no, actually, you're watching Curtis Newton live at the Roslyn. Give it up one more time for Curtis Newton, everybody. This is a special singer songwriter night where we have five amazing Winnipeg artists. Actually, we have an artist not from Winnipeg coming up. Give it up for Valerie Ray, everybody. They're gonna take a little while here to set that up and then we're gonna talk with Valerie. Um, this, uh, please click like and please click share if you haven't done so. This is the biggest support and the biggest compliment you can give us and these great artists. We love doing this every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. and we're gonna be doing it for another 15 or 16 weeks. So make sure to check us out every single week and uh, like our page. Next week, we are gonna be featuring Rain Hamilton and it's typically a full band. So uh, make sure you tune in for that. We're super stoked. And uh, yeah. whoa. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to take a message from uh, Torque Brewing. <laughs> oh, hey, Valerie. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Valerie Ray, everybody. Give it up for Valerie. So, Valerie, I keep talking about Winnipeg and Manitoba, and then I keep... Uh, oh, oh, I, 
oh shoot, there's that one person who's not from there. <laughs> Go Raiders! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You want some? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the Riders beat the Bombers this year for sure, eh? Well, you know. <laughs> anyway, this year uh, and every year. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan. I currently live down in Nashville, Tennessee. And I've been doing music. I started at open mics when I was 15 years old. I started writing songs when I was six on the piano. And I've just been touring around and apparently doing a you know, really good job at uh, staying hidden and unknown and... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've been, I've been doing it a long time and I just play, I play a lot and I travel a lot and it's great and that's, that's the life that it is and I'm fine with it. I, I like it a lot, you know. Stomp and Tom's my hero, so... <laughs> right on. Well, uh, tell us uh, what song you're gonna sing and tell us a little bit about the song. Sure, yeah. The first song I want to do, uh, it's special for me to do it in Winnipeg. I haven't played here since 2011. And uh, this is a song about my great-grandmother, Eliza Jane. Uh, she was originally from the Red River Métis settlement. And she moved to Saskatchewan. Um, and I guess, I mean, at the time and everything that was going on, it wasn't that long after um, they had hanged um, a bunch of... First Nation men that had participated in one of the resistance battles and uh, that was in North Battleford. She moved to Unity, Saskatchewan, which isn't far from there. So she had to, she ended up sort of hiding who she was and where she was from and that got hidden in our family. Um, so it was something that I only found out later in life that we were Métis. Um, and people watching might not even know what Métis is, but um, it's basically... Uh, the translation, I think, uh, means mixed blood. And, um, you know, these were people with their own culture, their own language, their own customs. And there was indigenous people um, who married with Europeans or settlers that, that were here doing the fur trade. And they had their own culture and, and their own everything. And I felt kind of robbed of that when I found out because I thought, why was that hidden? Why was that such a terrible thing and I've lost out on our family sort of lost out on that um, so I wrote this song as a way to reconnect and kind of honor my great-grandmother and who she was and I've been doing a lot of research since just to learn about that um, I talk about that you know it was the largest mass execution in Canadian history and we never learned about that in school nobody told me that growing up in Regina and that was going on in North Battleford Louis Riel was hanged in Regina and these are things that weren't even you know, discussed in a large way for me when I was growing up. So I put that into this song, basically. Right on, we'll take it away. <laughs> Thank you. Government town Snowed in again You wear me down Lost all my thinner skin in this town Thought I'd grow old But if I don't leave now I'll die of the cold Last hundred years Since my great-grandma Hit her Red River tears For my great-grandpa Never forget her own blood at the door, her own blood out in the dead. Eliza Jane, what's hiding in your name? What's in the stories we pass down? Blood on your hands Stole the babies from the cradles And the women off the land 
in these towns where you strung up the men you wrapped a rope around their spirit because you knew it rise again Eliza Jane what's hiding in your name what's in the stories we pass down Everybody, you are watching Valerie Ray live at the Roslyn in our special singer-songwriter night. She is the fifth, you're batting cleanup tonight, the fifth of five amazing artists who have just lit up this room in such a beautiful way. And your grandma would really love that song. Is she still with us today? Uh, my, my grandma is, she's 89, uh, but Eliza Jean was actually my great oh, grandmother. Great grandma. So she's, she's not with us, but my grandma, I was able to actually, I haven't recorded that song yet, so that'll be on there. That's, that's cool to me that I got to do that tonight in Winnipeg. Um, but I did do it once live on the uh, Regina Global News morning show, and my grandma got to see that on TV. And, like, and I just, yeah, it was really touching because I know it meant a lot to her, and she told me that her mom would be really proud. So I was like, oh. Right Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm assuming uh, that's very beautiful. And I'm assuming your grandma, 89 years old, has Facebook, right? Hey, she Grant. is online now. She gets emails and stuff, but we have to send, like, she's not on Facebook, but I can send her a video. I, I will send this to her, I promise. Grandma She Ray. will be a Village Idiots viewer live at the Rosin. <laughs> Grandma, if you're watching, you better share this. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget to click like. Yeah. Just like everybody at home, please click like, please click share, and all that fun stuff. Anyway, that's absolutely beautiful. This is going to be the yeah. last song of the whole show of the night. Um, but before that, <laughs> this is, an, is this for songwriting. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your structure and your process for songwriting for some people out there. Well, I'm not, because uh, I'm down in Nashville, and, and there's, a, there's a real, um, a lot of the people down there are doing stuff where they're writing every day. They're writing in uh, publishing houses. They're, they write for a living. That's what they do, and they write for people who are on the radio. Um, and I always found that really difficult because, for me, it was so emotional and so like a moment of inspiration that would just hit. So, and, and I tried that for a bit, going in every day like, they, like a day job, but it just wasn't right for me, you know? And, and I think different people write in different ways, and so there's no right or wrong. Um, but for me, it, it's really personal, and it kind of comes like, I think Tom Waits talked about that too, that he was driving in his car one day, and a song just hit, and he felt like, I didn't even do this. Like, someone else just gave me that song. And I think for me, it's like that too. It feels like something coming out of... A spiritual realm that that's just sort of presented and you're like the facilitator of it almost or something so for me for me it's really emotional but um when i do do co-writes i like to write with other guitar players um I, i'm an aspiring guitar player for life so i'm always trying to get better and push myself but i always you know recognize that in other people when they're phenomenal and can do things i can't and, and then i want to write with them because i want that expertise or that kind of creative 
you know, flow to be in something I'm doing. So I, I really, this, the next song I'm going to do as a segue was written with uh, one of my favorite guitar players in Nashville. His name's Dan Cohen, Daniel Cohen. And um, he just, he added a little bit of chord structure and stuff that like I would have never thought of. Um, so I, I, yeah, I don't know. Right on. <laughs> well, finish off the show in style. Take All it right. away. This is called, uh, after, after like, you know, being a musician for 20 years and being on the road, you sometimes forfeit some of the lifestyle things other people your age have. Um, so this was a song sort of about, um, yeah, maybe, maybe the things you forfeit, or a person, or many people, I don't know. <laughs> Siren's jamming to me right now. I hope that makes it on there. <laughs> she loves you now. But I loved you first. She loves you so well. But I miss you much worse. I didn't know the first time would soon be the last But if she's got your heart Why is mine still hurt? She sees your Everybody, you were just watching Valerie Ray live at the Roslyn, and that's the last artist that we had here tonight. At first, we had Franny Klein, then we had Kenzie Jane, then we had Alana Jeffries, 
followed by Curtis Newton, finished by Valerie Ray. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. We're back here every single Wednesday for the next 15 or 16 weeks. So make sure to check us out this upcoming Wednesday when we feature Rain Hamilton. Thank you all so much. We appreciate your support. We'll see you next Wednesday. Ow!